Right now at 6, testimony continues in Adam Fravel's murder trial. And Midwestern healthcare systems have agreed to a merger. You're watching WKBT Lacrosse. This is News 8 Now at 6. Good evening, everyone, and thanks for joining us for News 8 Now at 6. I'm Ken Kozarowski. Emily is off tonight. Police have arrested a man potentially connected to a Fountain City death. According to Buffalo County Sheriff Mike Osmond, a landlord sent deputies to a mobile home Wednesday to evict two people. They found a 57-year-old woman dead in the home. It looked like she'd been dead for weeks. Police also discovered 58 cats and 13 dogs in the home. Those animals are now at local shelters. The sheriff's office is investigating the death and conducting an autopsy. Authorities have not released the suspect's name, though his charges are pending. Testimony over video evidence dominated day six of Adam Fravel's murder trial in Mankato. Law enforcement say they obtained footage from sources showing Madeline Kingsbury's car traveling on Highway 43. The Bureau of Criminal Apprehension says it examined both Kingsbury and Fravel's phones and home security cameras. They found that those security cameras were active until March 29th, two days before Kingsbury disappeared. Prosecutors also showed some text exchanges between Fravel and Kingsbury that indicated Fravel had been physically abusive. A human case of West Nile virus has been identified in Eau Claire County. This is the county's first case of West Nile virus this year. On average, Wisconsin sees about 18 cases. Around 80% of people who are infected don't get sick, but officials say it's always a good idea to prevent mosquito bites with bug spray and long sleeve clothing. Well, we do have showers, light rain, even some thunderstorms on the way. Right now, it's really probably northeast Iowa is the one that's getting some of the activity there. If you look at radar right now, some of the activity is getting closer to Preston and decor, but you really got to get into the yellow areas that actually have precipitation reaching the ground. And some of these thunderstorms have produced nickel-sized, dime-sized hail. They are weakening, though, and producing maybe about a quarter inch of rain as they come through if you're right under one. So they are pushing northeast. They're still well away from La Crosse, but the Fillmore County decor will probably have some of this come through. Otherwise, up to the north, a few sprinkles. Lady Smith, but everything else is well to the west of Rice Lake. The main line really that we're watching is just hitting Mankato and the Twin Cities, and that'll be coming through later. So we'll have that main line. So a few activities through about seven or eight, but then the main line comes through Eau Claire, probably about 830, and then La Crosse will see more of that activity. Probably the main batch come through about nine or a little bit there afterwards. Although once again we could see a few storms or a few showers higher to that coming through. Overall, if you look at once this precipitation moves out of the area, which it will after just about mid night. We'll have some clearing skies towards uh, morning hour and temperatures will get back into the 40s, maybe some upper 30s up to the north where it does uh, clear out a little bit earlier. That wind's going to turn around to the northwest too and get a little breezy towards the morning commute, but the morning commute should be dry. And the good news is really what we're looking at dry conditions through the weekend, but then we're going to warm back up towards next week. And if you thought 80 was done with for the year, <laughs> You might guess again. <laughs> we might get close to it. Not quite. It's Not still quite trying yet. to hang on. Yes. All right, Craig. Thanks very much. Well, First Lady Jill Biden and Minnesota First Lady Gwen Walls will campaign in La Crosse on Monday. That's according to a Harris Walls campaign official. This will be the pair's first campaign event together. Campaign staff have not yet shared any specific event details for this one. Walls was in La Crosse last month for a presidential debate watch party. Biden has not visited La Crosse, but she has made several visits to the Badger State this election cycle. Two Midwestern health systems are set to merge. South Dakota-based Sanford Health and Marshfield Clinic are combining forces. Sanford is the largest rural health system in the U.S. with 45 hospitals and more than 200 clinics. Marshfield, of course, has locations across Wisconsin, including several in the Chippewa Valley. The combined nonprofit system expects to improve patient outcomes for their 425,000 members. The merger is expected to be complete by the end of the year. A group of students from La Crosse Central High School walked out of school in a peaceful protest today. The effort was put together by the school's Feminist Equality Movement Club, protesting the limitations on women's reproductive rights. The walkout looks to raise awareness for the cause ahead of the November election, whether you'll be casting a ballot or not. I think it's important for our community to know that even if you can't vote, you're not old enough to vote, it's so important that you have a say and you have an opinion on what's going on in our country. About 40 students attended the protests, which went from 1 p.m. until the end of the school day. 
This week, La Crosse County Health and Human Services is partnering with local police for crisis intervention training. Today, officers are participating in a hearing voices demonstration in which they went about their daily work while wearing headphones simulating voices in their head. Organizers say the exercise allows officers to get some insight on what those people with mental illness may be experiencing and also gives them essential de-escalation skills. Officers are responding sometimes to somebody's worst day um, and their worst moment in time and we want to make sure that we provide the officers with the skills so everybody is safe. Officers from La Crosse, Trempolo and Vernon counties are participating in the five day training. Tomorrow they'll tour local mental health facilities then put their training to action with some live scenarios. Oktoberfest USA is donating big figures to the La Crosse area. The organization giving more than $142,000 to local nonprofits, schools, veterans, and community organizations. Big Brothers Big Sisters and the La Crescent Animal Rescue are among the organizations expected to receive some funding. Oktoberfest USA says they're proud to continue leaving a positive impact in the Cooley region year-round. A UW lacrosse program is providing higher education access for single parents. The university today hosted a scholarship breakfast for students and donors that are involved in the self-sufficiency program. SSP is a free 10-week class to support single parents and other adults as they look into local college options. Program graduates can then apply for some scholarships to help them out during their first four semesters in college. Officials say this program helps different generations reach some academic goals. It's tough to get a degree, whether it's associates or a bachelor's, but many do, and it's about giving them a good start um, and confidence, growing confidence. Donations collected during the breakfast will help fund those SSP scholarships, which range between $350 to $1,000 per semester. Today was the grand opening of the new West Salem Bike Park. The park was designed for bikes, but the paving allows skateboards, rollerblades, and scooters to try out the tracks. The tracks have multiple lines available for beginner and more advanced riders. Rock solid trail contracting, dirt monkey excavating, Mathy construction, and Aura Trails all partnered in the park's construction. The project at Lewis Point Park has been in the works for two years. All the steps we've had to take, uh, it's been a really long journey, but it's been a wonderful team that we've gotten to work with, and it's just fantastic to be able to start to share it with the world like we are today. Attendees for the grand opening enjoyed some free food and drinks, and of course had a chance to try out the pump track. A local school is helping promote literacy through shared reading. The 19th annual Jumpstart Read for the Record kicked off at Northwoods International School today. Students from Logan High School also got involved by reading this year's featured book, Piper Chen Sings, to the kids. The book highlights themes of self-expression, overcoming self-doubt, and supportive family relationships. A teacher at Northwoods says students receive necessary attention thanks to the assistance from those high schoolers. Early voting underway, and officials are fending off a cyber attack and foreign interference to ensure election security. Those details, next. From cozy breakfast nooks to formal dining areas, Ashley has versatile dining options that fit any space and style, starting at just $499.99, and receive a $250 mattress credit with the purchase of any six-piece bedroom set. Only at Ashley. Shop more deals in-store and online. Your adventure starts here at Ho-Chunk Gaming Black River Falls. We've got something for everyone. Explore hundreds of miles of off-road fun. Cap off the night with the crew by spinning up even more excitement. Or slow it down and relax. Just the two of you. Your adventure awaits outdoors, indoors. Call or visit Ho-Chunk Gaming Black River Falls today. Experience the difference. Trail Riders package available. Racist and offensive. Ryan Hipsch's social media history tells us who he really is. In one post, Hipsch said that he wanted a hat with the N-word embroidered on it. In another, Hipsch aims a rifle and comments that he can't wait to kill Muslims using a slur. Then wrote, LOL, that was racist. And that's just the beginning. Hip's social media posts are full of degrading terms for women and people with disabilities. Tell Ryan Hipsch that his agenda is too extreme for the Cooley region. This illegal immigrant was recently arrested in southwestern Wisconsin for a sexually violent attack on a woman, a suspected Venezuelan gang member who entered the U.S. just last year. Unfortunately, Steve Doyle supports sanctuary cities that protect criminals like this, and Doyle opposed sending 
resources to secure the border, to keep dangerous criminals like Alejandro Jose Coronel Zarate away from our families. Steve Doyle's failures are destroying Wisconsin lives. Steve Doyle, unwilling to secure the border, unfit to serve. Eric Hovde's trying to scare you. The truth is no sex change surgeries take place on minors in Wisconsin. Zero. And Tammy Baldwin didn't give funding to a transgender clinic. It's actually a youth homeless shelter. Eric Hovde knows that. But he's a billionaire banker who thinks he can lie about anything, including falsely attacking Tammy Baldwin by questioning her personal life. Wisconsin's better than Eric Hovde. I'm Tammy Baldwin, and I approve this message. Lane's Farm and Fleet's Fall Workwear event is going on now. We've got unbeatable deals on quality boots and apparel to help your hard-earned dollars go further. Like $5 off men's work and sport flannels starting at $24.99. Shop new fall styles of men's and women's Ariat workwear and accessories. Get $30 in Carhartt bucks for every $125 you spend on Carhartt gear. Plus, save $80 on this Milwaukee four-tool combo kit. The Looking for a better night's sleep? Ashley Sleep offers three different mattress lines for everybody, from soft, cloud-like comfort to firm next-level support. Or wake up on the bright side of the bed with a Nectar mattress starting at $7.99. Now available at Ashley. Shop more deals in-store and online. With early voting well underway in many states, officials across the country are working to maintain the security of this presidential election. Brian Abel is in Washington with the latest efforts to ensure your vote is counted. We have multiple layers of security around several systems. Battleground Georgia revealing Wednesday it successfully fended off a cyber attack this month from what officials there believe to be a foreign entity who targeted the state's absentee ballot request website. Though federal officials haven't yet confirmed its origin, it would be the latest in a slew of attempts by foreign adversaries to meddle in the 2024 election. Microsoft reporting it detected probing of election-related websites in multiple U.S. swing states by Iran Iranian government linked hackers in a possible effort to discover vulnerabilities. Iran denies the Microsoft assessment. Russia also reported to be at the forefront of misinformation campaigns attempting to influence the election. Just this week, U.S. intelligence assessed that Russian operatives created then amplified false social media content meant to smear Democratic vice presidential candidate Tim Walls. Officials are also combating homegrown misinformation intended to stoke fears of the election not being secure including false claims that voting machines were flipping votes in states like Nevada and Georgia, a Georgia election official explaining how an inaccurate rumor started. There was an, a senior citizen voter who printed her ballot and said, oh, I didn't, this isn't who I chose, and they followed the procedure. They went to the poll manager, they said, let's go over here and, let, and we'll, we'll spoil this ballot, we'll let you vote again. She told a couple people that story, it turned into a post, and then it was picked up by other people and said machines are flipping votes, which is nobody claimed that actually happened. Officials adding there is zero evidence of machines flipping votes. In Washington, Brian Abel. We'll have more news ahead, but first. Yeah, we finally got some rain. That's what definitely we do need. But the good news is the Friday and the weekend's actually shaping up to be pleasant conditions and dry. We'll break down what the temperatures look like as well as we might see another 80 next week. That all coming up on your first one weather update after the break. With Chevy trucks, be ready for adventure. With power you can count on. Capability that doesn't compromise. A hard-working EV with more range than any competitor and the potential to take you anywhere. Get 0% financing plus make no monthly payments for 90 days on all 2024 Silverado 1500 pickups. Or get $5,750 total value on this Silverado. Visit hometownchevy.com. Rebecca Cook, and like most folks in Wisconsin, I'm somewhere in the middle. Oh, please, don't be fooled by Rebecca Cook. She made her living trying to elect Democrat extremists. Cook proudly supported radicals who want to defund police, end cash bail, and throw open the border. No wonder extremists like AOC are spending big bucks to elect liberals like Cook. Rebecca Cook, just another liberal trying to fool you. Congressional Leadership Fund is responsible for the content of this advertising. Insanity. Doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different result. 
Would you have done something differently than President Biden during the past four years? Uh, there is not a thing that comes to mind. Kamala wouldn't change a thing. Their weakness invited wars, welfare for illegals, while Americans struggle. Now Kamala wants higher taxes on top of higher prices. We can't afford four more years of Kamala. I'm Donald J. Trump, and I approve this message. At Spectrum, we believe every day unlocks unlimited possibilities to bring you closer to the people and places you love. Spectrum transforms your gaming experience into a galaxy of adventures. And with the fastest, most reliable internet, you're always front row to the entertainment you love, no matter where you are. Get Spectrum Internet Premier for $30 per month when bundled plus a three-year price guarantee. Call 1-833-440-0029. Spectrum Internet puts streaming live TV, sports, and popular apps all at your fingertips. They've had three and a half years to fix the border. Why hasn't she done it? Four years, radical Kamala Harris created the border crisis. Thousands of accused murderers, rapists, even terrorists pour in. Each crime they commit makes American victims. Innocent victims of Kamala's open border agenda. They were bludgeoned, raped, strangled, stabbed, shot, and murdered. Kamala created the border crisis. She won't fix it now. Make America Great Again, Inc. is responsible for the content of this advertising. Yeah, finally we got some rain, or we're going to get some rain here very shortly. That's the good news. Not a lot, but we definitely still need a lot more. If you look since September 1st, both La Crosse and Eau Claire have been over three inches below average. And to no surprise, moderate drought conditions pretty much sort of across the area with extreme to northeast Iowa, up to northeast Wisconsin. Some of the lucky ones have been normally dry, but overall, we could desperately need a lot of rainfall. We're going to get a little bit now, but it's not going to be a lot. So, so rain pretty much from 7 p.m. to midnight. Now everyone's going to see that whole period of rain, but that's kind of when it should come through the area. Uh, dry and cooler for Friday. The winds will turn around to the northwest behind this front, so we'll drop those temperatures, but pretty close to where they should be this time of year. And then pleasant and dry Saturday. It'll be similar temperatures each day, but it'll be less wind probably on Saturday and even warmer as we go towards Sunday. Right now, here's this activity right here. It's beginning to fall apart as it's kind of entering some more drier air up in our area. So a lot of this thunderstorm activity showers, if it holds together, some of us may see a sprinkle or shower here in the next hours that lifts north. The main activity we're watching is well to the west the Twin Cities beginning to cross the border right now. That's the activity that will produce probably more widespread precipitation overall. We kind of time it out. As you can see, not a lot of this is really going to hold together. Probably further south, you go better. And then we kind of have a little bit of a split here. Here comes that wave coming and lifting north. So by the time we get to about 8 or 9, I think some of this activity will come through La Crosse, Black River, Winona. Better shot as you go further north towards Eau Claire that that, that activity will hold together, produce that rainfall. As we continue to go on throughout the evening hours, we're going to see it lift northeast and expand in a little bit in coverage towards 10 p.m. So a lot of the area will still see some showers off and on and embedded some moderate rainfall. As we get past 1030, then it's going to start lifting to the east. And a lot of areas, Eau Claire to Winona to Rochester, all these will start actually clearing out a little bit. Precipitation is pretty much done with. Spottiness as you go further south and then as you go further south towards the Wisconsin River, they may hang on to some precipitation probably till about 1 to 2 a.m till then they'll end and then as you wake up tomorrow morning for the morning commute it should be fairly dry we'll have partly sunny skies and actually that wind will be the one thing you'll see the difference now precipitation a lot of areas will probably be in that tenth to maybe a quarter inch range some areas a quarter to a half and if you're lucky ones if you get right under a thunderstorm or a couple of them maybe you might get up to about a quarter to a half especially further northeast you go where that large area is beginning to lift to Eau Claire I think that's a better shot of seeing maybe a half inch of rain I'm less certain as you go further south as you notice we have kind of that split going on temperatures tomorrow we're looking at those upper 50s near 60 that should be pretty much where we should be then as we go into Saturday Pretty much similar type of temp temperatures, but the wind won't be as much as a factor, so that northwest wind will die down. And next week, we talked about the warm air coming out west. The big storm's going to enter that Pacific Northwest. We're going to get the winds turned around to the southwest, and we are going to warm up. Very warm air coming up Monday and Tuesday. Potential record temperatures, too during the day and if you look at overnight 61 could be a record for nighttime temperatures how warm it might be so that's to look forward to early next week the weekend looks fine with uh, upper 50s to low 60s and then maybe more rain coming Wednesday and Thursday next week that we could use too mm. so so it's not a one a, and done it's not a one and done but the next week is a lot more questions but uh, if you thought 80 was gone 
Uh, we I might see it next Tuesday <laughs> again. Another appearance. Yeah, right. I might make another appearance. Thank you, Greg. Mm -hmm. Coming up next in sports, the Badgers get ready to welcome in one of the best teams in the country. Plus, another busy night of high school sports ahead. See how the Aquinas Blue Golds fared in their first playoff match. Jacob is up next. Proper installation of your new windows make a difference. The team at Clear Choice Window and Home Solutions are factory trained to make sure your windows are installed to last. Call or stop into the showroom for your free estimate. It's Ford SUV season in the Northland. Time for great offers across the entire lineup, including Ford Explorer, America's all-time best-selling SUV. Get ready for the coming season with weather-ready features that make life easier, like heated seating, a heated steering wheel, and remote start. Amazing offers on your favorite Ford SUVs. This is Ford SUV season. Get 1.9% financing for 66 months, plus up to 2,500 flex by cash on a Ford Escape. Only at your local Northland Ford dealers. Manufacturers selling baby food with high levels of toxic heavy metals. Foods and cereals marketed to children contain a weed-killing chemical that some health authorities link to cancer. Exposed to chemicals and additives that have been banned in other countries. Half the tap water contains forever chemicals. Enough is enough. President Trump and I are going to stop the mass poisoning of American children. We're going to make America healthy again. Maha Alliance is responsible for the content of this advertising. To everyone who craves a fresh meal, come have a taste of Wisconsin. America's Dairyland. As in real dairy. It gives Clover's fresh frozen custard its famous rich and creamy flavor. Like really rich. So rich. Rich and creamy. And our cook to order butter burgers? They're topped with, you guessed it, Wisconsin cheese. But it's the smiles we put on your face with every meal made just for you. It really makes our hearts melt. From Wisconsin with love. Welcome, Welcome to Delicious. delicious. <laughs> When I was five, I began getting sexually abused by my stepfather. And he got me pregnant when I was 12. <laughs> 64,000 pregnancies from rape have occurred in states with total abortion bans. And Trump did this. Women and girls need to have choices. With Kamala Harris, we do. I'm Kamala Harris, and I approve this message. If you want selection, then that's what we've got at King Furniture. More mattresses. Did you know you spend a third of your life sleeping? So you better have the best mattress you possibly can. And we have those here at King Furniture with a huge selection to choose from in every price range. Lay down and relax. Take the time to find the exact mattress you want because you're going to be sleeping on this for a while. King Furniture. Nice people. Nice furniture. Bring all of the exciting action from your community. Here's News 8 Now Sports. Another busy night of high school sports ahead of us, but first let's check out some regional semifinal boys soccer action from earlier this afternoon. A gorgeous day. Division 4, 2 seed Aquinas hosting 7 seed Northland Lutheran. Early in this one, home side looking to get on the board. Great pass from Harrison Griffith, but David Onyabor's attempt is shut down by Ethan Stark. Wildcats then hoping to strike, but Sawyer Weichman's header is just going to go wide. And then just over 20 minutes in, Blue Golds with a nice chance, but Stark sends it back as Vincent Barr's attempt is saved. And then Brent Mark Husson's follow-up is too tall, still scoreless until... Some good lead up play gets paid off with a goal. It's Barr finding the slightest of angles and he buries it. Now Northland Lutheran would tie this one up at one to send it to OT, but in the extra time, the Blue Golds prevail and they are moving on. We're just two days away from Wisconsin's opportunity to score a top three upset in the crazy world of college football. Wisconsin has outscored their last three opponents 117 to 16, but now a Nittley Lions team comes in that hasn't lost to the Badgers since 2011. The Penn State defense has been stingy this year, allowing over 20 points to an opponent just twice this year. Kickoff set for 630 and the Badgers have won 10 of 11 night games. Head coach Luke Fickle knows it's a great opportunity for his ball club. If we start to look at it differently, look, it's a night game. It's later in the day. We know there's going to be we're going to create an environment that's going to be really exciting and fun. And I think that's what we need to look at, not, hey, what are these guys ranked? What do people think and things like that? Try to try to you know put all those things behind us and just recognize, look, this is a big game because we've had an opportunity to make it a big game. 
And to win this week could be the biggest yet of Luke Fickle's era and would make Wisconsin Bowl eligible for the 23rd consecutive season. And we are off and running with the NBA season. T-Wolves returning to action tonight, still on the West Coast, facing off with the Kings. Minnesota dropped their season opener on Tuesday against the Lakers. Anthony Edwards led the way with 27 in that one. And newcomers Julius Randle and Dante DiVincenzo each clocked in over 30 minutes of game time, scoring 16 and 10 points respectively. Tip set for 9. 9 p.m. tonight. So All right. back to the Badgers. Ken, uh, thoughts on the game this week? It's some coach speak from Fickle, but sure. good advice. Uh, night atmosphere for Wisconsin. It's always a fun atmosphere. Yeah. Definitely an advantage, but uh, I'm, I'm nervous. Yeah. And Penn State's ranked high for a reason. It's going to be a tough game. But I think we can do it. Upset, yeah. though. It will be good. Fingers crossed. Yeah. Thank you, Jacob. We'll be right back after this. Get an 11% rebate on your automotive needs at Menards. Get superior engine protection with Valvoline High Mileage Synthetic Blend Motor Oil. It provides advanced protection from wear, friction, heat, and deposits for high mileage vehicles. A five-quart jug is $18.99 after rebate. Stay safe on the roads with Rain-X Vision Beam Wiper Blades. They're easy to install and are designed to provide a smooth, streak-free wipe every time. Now just $9.99 each after 11% rebate. Save big money at Menards. I believe in bringing people together, like my family and neighbors did when I was growing up on the north side of La Crosse. And now that I'm in the state legislature, it's why I focus on bipartisanship, because my whole being is focused on bringing people together to find solutions to make everyone a winner. I've appreciated the opportunity to be your state representative, and if I'm reelected, that's what I'm going to continue to do. My entire focus will be on bringing people together to make Wisconsin a better state. The Harris-Baldwin border policy puts Wisconsin families at risk. Two children stabbed to death, an illegal alien charged with their murder, a mother sexually assaulted, her daughter abused, a Venezuelan gang member here illegally charged. I think we're probably spending too much, uh, uh, throwing too much money on our southern border. Tammy Baldwin's wrong on the border, and Wisconsin families are paying the price. Restoration Pack is responsible for the content of this advertising. Our record high energy costs putting a squeeze on your fixed or limited incomes. While you haven't asked for it, the Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund and your local energy assistance providers are here to help. No Wisconsin resident should ever have to face the challenge of living without heat or power or face homelessness. For a hand up, apply today. All right, a wet evening for all. We'll have a little bit of rain, not a lot. Good news is Friday looks good. The weekend looks okay, too. And then next week, 70, maybe 80 again. All right. <laughs> Thanks for joining us at 6.